Hello everyone, Elspur88 here, coming to you with the latest Klee deck. So as all you know, I play Klee a lot, and I love this deck. So one of like the latest iteration of this deck is what we call Turbo Tower. And with the release of the Chicken Race, man, this deck gonna be super consistent. So, first thing first. Let's go to the deck list, and I will explain along as why I choose Southern card. So it should be pretty standard from start right here. So two monolith, two scout, two tower, not one, two. Then max out on all the other glee. So three stow, three show, three disc, three pot, three helix, three carrier. And as for the spell, all about improving consistency and such. So three upstart, three summon art, three into the void, three wavering eye, one sacrifice, and three chicken race. Or chicken game, as now they call it. Extra deck, you don't really care about them, but in case you need to go into them, you have it. So Gaia, Diamond, B Ladies, Volcasaurus, Durando, Ragnar Zero, 101, Herland Draco, Castell, Diamond Die, Exiton, Abyss Dweller, Cowboy, Blotomaeus, and Rhapsodian Berserk. And as for side deck, this is what you want to do. So when you go into your side deck, usually you don't want to go into your side deck at all. So game 1, drop tower and win. Game 2, stay with tower turbo. Because if they don't draw an out, or they don't have your field set up, if they go first, and if they go second, you don't really care. Because most of the time, it's really going to be 85 to 90% consistently t turn 1 tower every time. And I will show you how to do that, but in any case, if you lose game 2, then that is the time you want to go into your side deck for game 3. So depending on the deck you play, mostly it's going to be Floodgate. But some general stuff, you have 2 Valor, 3 MST, 1 Emptiness, and 1 Skill Drain. That is for your basic regular thing. And maybe the 2 loser turn. But other than that, you have Floodgate like Imperial Iron Wall for Richard Beast. Mistake for any such in general and two shadow imprisoning mirror. Mostly for all your dark matchup like BA, shadow, and anything that dark base. But that's that. And uh, why two tower and not one? So this is the thing. From all the thing I'm playing, like currently I'm playing my regular Klee and I always run tower. And that's one thing. People only run one out against tower, most of them. So because like extra deck space is really tight and people cannot fit that much thing. Usually they, they, they have Diamond Crab King or Excalibur or the recent favorite number 86 as an alpha tower. But yep, that's it. That's only their one hit and then you still have to dedicate a good amount of cards into making those cards. So for us, all we need to do, even they kill tower this turn, next turn drop another tower on and usually they just scoop up and go. And that's just that. That's always about that. So first turn tower. This is super consistency. So let me go into couple of games and I can show you more about it. So choo choo. So I gotta go about a whole lot of game that I win. So yeah. So and I can tell you time time that I break. So even like you look quick look here. There's only a few lose. Most of them are win. And not because I'm not recording or anything. I do record every game here. So here. So with a hand like this, it's not the optimal hand, so chances you're not going to be able to drop the tower turn 1, so hey, you don't care. But as long as you need to keep your advantage going on, and uh, if you don't go into tower turn 1, make sure you play regularly until you can drop that tower. So like this, you just drop 1, 2, and I want to play safe because I didn't know Aqua Actress what they're going to do at that turn, so yep, just take my time. Pop, chill, and uh, kind of learn how the deck work. So that's why I drop stealth because I know I can always go into tower next turn. So then uh, I kind of realized, okay, so there's just big busy beater with a lot of and continuous spell. Like I stop caring at this point. Just yep, just go ahead, drop, plus, then yeah, they see too much advantage. They know we're gonna drop and they're gonna win, so they give up. So nothing fancy, too fancy right there, but for the 5 fish matchup though, this is a good game. Because you know 5 fish, they got a lot of set just like this. So this one played 3 axes, and 
Just drop a lot of things. Go Leopard, get Spell, get Search, go to Spirit, go to Horse King. Then it's just all the shenanigans. And then it's set too. Which is right here is the Rekindling and Phoenix Chain. But hey, for a savage feel like that, you gotta be thinking about a little bit about this back row. So, but this is one thing about this deck. It's practically a YOLO deck. So, either you win or you lose. So, uh, might as well just drop it. So, you, you don't have, have, you have enough stuff to go into tower. But, I'm like, no. Let's play safe for a bit. So, let's drop the shell. Draw two. And hit for C to see what else they have down there. And because I was able to pop the Phoenix Chain with the Helix. So, yep. You go with Kingling, go with Horse King. Play his move again. And this, also, when you're playing to this, people do not expect Turbo Tower, like, at the moment, not a whole lot. So, every time you set something, people will expect it to be Floodgate, Trap, and usually they scare a little bit. So, they have to play a little bit differently. But, most time it's going to be for Bluff. And the more you can Bluff, the better. And see, right now, they, I know they don't have anything else. Drop down the tower, and frankly just win. And remember this, when you drop tower, make sure you bail out all of their trap if they have anything set. Other than that, you're not really worry. So here, this one against heroes. And hero is a lot of trap. Well, this guy hand is pretty horrible, but at least it can stand for a little while. Let's see, Wavering Eye is powerful card. Drop the two scale, pop it, get your scale wallet. That's the thing, any hand with a scout and four different Glee is a good hand. Usually you won't be going to tower turn 1 with that hand because if you can, you can go into tower but then you won't draw. You want this to set up as a scout, a monolith, and the tower. Because this thing will let you go to tower turn 1 and draw 3 which is very powerful. Because in case they get rid of your tower, you have an out. It, otherwise you will just lose. And because you invest too much into your tower. So make sure you you only go to tower when you have a monolith. If not, must yeah you can go to stow to pot. You have plenty of two tribute to actually draw two. So dig for your tower, dig for your other option, and still get good plus out of it. And usually you can have this pot. You have stow, you have shell. So you still put immensely pressure on them. I like this one. Doesn't matter what cow he thing he go. He know he's gonna lose next turn. Next, let's go into inferno, which is not. Nothing too fancy. It's just yeah, just just to show you guys how to work with different hand. With this hand, you're drawn to two scale, so you're not gonna have your wavering eye play, and since you don't draw wavering anyway, so you don't really care. But like this thing, just make sure you spend all hand because you play into the void. This is a good card, but it's it's also a, like a made for pendulum card because since you have to draw one when you have three or more, and by the end of the turn, if you don't use all those cards, you lose all those cards. So. Make sure when you play into the void, you have to pencil up everything and just go nut on that turn. It's just like so, you go nut and you just win. And because into the void only discard during the end turn, and if by the end phase you don't have any card in your hand, you don't discard. And then mallet effect will kick in and you draw three, and you don't discard those three. So that's a good thing for you to remember. And one deck is I really like, probably I might test out at some point, is Magic Spectre. This deck search a lot, and they're consistently searching for everything. So, which is really amazing. And that trap is, wow, really powerful. They can search spell, trap, or monster effect. But hey, just like this, you, when you drop turn 1 tower, they lose the card. And this guy, see, Pendulum up, and he just keep on blessing, searching everywhere. I see this banish this warning that tempest yep it's mess up you play a decent amount of time but with tower you still win that tower is really really powerful and you and also one thing to note if they negate the summon like remember so, so when you say the tribute to draw right and but if they negate the tribute summon you will not draw with Marlet. So one thing to keep in mind for those of you that, 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 that didn't know about the ruling. But other than that, they have an out. So they make 3000. They kill my tower. They set 4. So right now I was just playing along. Safe. Draw. 
but four chests is very intimidating and as you look at here as is not a bad feel either so just bail out every single thing that I can then make sure I get some scale drop the scale get another mullet and because I already pendulum this turn so only normal but that enough so I get rid of two of this summon negation even though I got a loss out here but then now I build up and next time I can go back for tower again and they know they not can do too much of that so yeah that's a win then we have let's see let's go with red eye red eye is a fun deck it's a powerful deck but again tower yeah not much so anything when you could have lost such a like this is amazing and remember you if you have two waving eye you have two such just like so drop this and make sure you always get the mullet when you have the already have the tower just drop bam 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 and always use all your hand because at the end turn you will always draw three with this if you go to tower turn one that is just extremely powerful play and hey turbo tower is turbo tower and make sure to activate the effect for them to send one card and remember they send a card you're not destroying them so shadow doesn't get effect and uh, a good actually shadow do get the effect but like a good mob thing that need to be destroyed will not get the effect and pot is just a fun card like i have a lot of like a lot of potential for this guy but hey end game late game will be fun but early game not too much but it's a fun thing then you have ray raptor so but here this is one hand that could be really really good so as it's extremely consistent because it kind of like drawn to the second scout there so it's not that fun but still i still can get the mallet up of the wavering eye because i already have the second scout so then just go drop one two and three to roll three for tower to draw three and just set that just a bluff and see always go like this it's always like your favorite first turn move scout into mallet into tower draw three and at this point i think i can just drop another one and i can search for a second tower drop second tower and boom this is called gg i don't care what they pop anymore and because they pop that sacrifice i got another set two tower drop two card per hand is really really powerful you still draw three for mallet so yep at this point this guy is just yeah not much you can do la, 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 la. so let's do i think i already did a hero so how about let's a different hero Oh, how about let's just go here a broken hand more like just more like just really good so anything yeah like turbo tower it could get pretty boring sometimes but <laughs> the amount what you're gonna get is yeah it upset all that they saw me go three i saw you go tower they just quit <laughs> super super and here so this one is again a clay player so he got up and decent and that's because I go first, so I don't care. One, two, three, tower. But because he play, also I again the mirror match. Your wavering eye is extremely powerful in a mirror match, and your tower too. Usually, unless they have your, the regular scale setup, which means a scale one and a tribute two monster. That's the only, usually that's gonna be the only hour again tower because they can buff their monster to 31, run over tower. But other than that, even in mirror match, the tower still win you game because none of the trap effective, none of the monster effective, unless the tribute summon with a buff. And even they kill one, you can always drop out another one and ask them to send that monster away. Which is, yeah, it's just really, really good. Then here we have Volcanic. Volcanic is also a great deck. It win a lot of game and this man, the Royal Five Storm Guard, is extremely good card. But yep, you can see that a good amount of time. Make sure you get to your scout, make sure you get to your mallet, and have three so you can drop tower. That's it. Chicken game usually mostly gonna be there, just for extra plus, and you can actually use this as protection. Because good thing you can see I'm at 62, so mostly that's how your life point gonna be after turn one. So. Even they get rid of your tower, and if they don't pop this thing, and they use for like a draw or whatever, 
they will not get the so it means that they won't be able to touch your light point so it's just like a soft layer of protection for you right there and yep at this point he will do a lot of things try to win but not too much not many he can do at this point draw a lot get all his stuff but right at this point I don't really care what he destroy anymore this tower again this is strong and they don't really have an out to it I think they do have an out I think he makes something here I think like oh no I guess yeah he didn't run crab king so he did not run over tower at this point yeah he just pop at this point yeah it's just too good and yeah, remember you can always play at the regular glee play so you don't need to drop tower every single turn if you can it's just good but yeah most of the time you can just drop stealth drop anything else if the, re if the situation call for and here this is some of the game that I lose which again hero so they got a good back row setup not like it much they can do so let's yep so let's see with the hero side such drop going bird got that and they already got the match chain set so dark law coming next turn so when I go into for my search let's just flip dark law man it hurt really bad so dark law is still a bitch so make sure if you can go first go first go first always always go first and see when I drop that man that Phoenix that composed hurt a lot because that was supposed to be the big guy to run over the dark law and with 2100 yeah you kind of dead and because they got removed when it gets special summoned by the dark law effect so yeah uh, oh you reload here so at this point I see too much damage I just yeah lost hero is hero don't let that thing set up against you if you can play first and the synchron this is also a really great game because man that deck is extremely powerful anything that's synchro related all the support they can go so they can go to cider to beat you they can go all kind of as you can see this game they can do like the starters warrior and whatever that new synchro monster is and I thought this was really good drop turn one tower and force them to send a card love I'm like okay and I, I didn't think this will have too much power again tower but actually yeah because they can go too much synchro and they actually are really consistent and with all the effect that get them all the extra plus yeah tj Liparian level eater going to yeah from the synchron draw two yeah that deck is still really really powerful uh, and because our deck is just pretty much drop tower and wait for game so you don't have anything to stop it so like it's the case in like if you're just gonna start a game game two again three again this deck very emptiness, skill drain, all that good stuff. So anything that's just blocked them from doing the, all this shenanigan, you should be fine. But this is where I lose to this level ten Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon because this can make his effect to undefect with anything, crushing tower, and that thing will negate any summon for a turn. Just like Stardust, which forces summon negation, and it's really powerful. My only out right now is. Just Hopefully, with the sacrifice, doesn't die by battle, and he doesn't have any effect to kill it. But yep, at this point, he just keep eating and go to your trash. I'm like, yeah, that's game. So, watch out for Synchron. That's one powerful deck coming your way. All right, that's I guess all the. G oh, I guess one more here. Let's do Heratic. 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 Actually, yep. This. Yep. Let's make this the last. Ignore the last one, but yes. Yeah, so this is gonna be heretic, and this actually really strong too. This still got the nut, and man, I did not expect heretic to be this strong. Like at least again a tower. Well, actually no, this and I break pretty hard. Like I have the mallet, but like all my scale are one. So I did not be able to do a pendulum. Did not do anything fancy, and this guy just went to tower with me. Four hit, turn two, game. So, yep, turbo tower break. Remember that. Well, anyway, thank you, you guys, for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. And let me know what you guys think in the comment below. And hey, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.